It's a newness kind of day. So we're going to focus on Byredo. I have Byredo on my eyes. This is Remembrance palette. You all asked to see this one first. Um, swatches I'll have go up right now. Uh, and when I do the look for you guys, you'll see it. There's a whole section where I do a look. Um, you'll see the eyes are the same, so it's the same look, but I build into different looks. So like my first look that I put on my eyes is a very subtle, very every day, in my opinion, kind of look. And then I build on top of that to make it a little bit more enhanced, a cooler look. And then what you have here, which is a more <laughs> intense, you know, a more special occasion look, if you will. Um, so there's really kind of like three looks built on top of one another, uh, which is something you can do with Byredo, which you really can't do with, with, with other palettes. Um, I also have on the NARS bronzer, the Rare Beauty blush, House Labs highlighter and Sicily Beverly Hills um, lipstick, which is limited edition. The look came out beautifully today. I also have Lancome foundation on. Most of these things can be found at uh, Sephora and Sephora sale. The Sicily cannot, but uh, the rest of them can. And, you know, to talk about the, the Byredo palette for a minute, this is the Remembrance palette. Um, it looks, and I, I keep cleaning it, but guys, this is a very, which is, which makes sense because it fits the inside of the palette. It's shiny and, you know, all over the place. Um, it's limited edition. It says it's $105. It says inspired by a remembrance of things past and a blending of color and emotion. Second skin textures and warm nudes, roses and browns are juxtaposed with silvers of silver. Slivers of silver, sorry. Slivers of silver. Uh, colors travel from light to dark and through a metallic matte and radiant shine. Instinctive and sensual pigment, totally agree, that adheres with a single stroke. It does. Uh, effortless gliding application, long-lasting wear, all true, absolutely true. Um, yeah, it's really stunning palette. Uh, you'll, I'll get into it in the, in, the, in the details, but lightweight texture, easy to blend, 18 colors, different textures in here, buildable, glide on soft and creamy texture. So what I would say before we get into the me applying all of this, um, and I'll have a section where I apply the NARS House Lab Sicily as well, uh, Rare Beauty. This is a beautiful palette. If all you want to watch is my intro gear to figure out whether you want to buy this, it is absolutely worth buying. It is $105 for 18 shades. They are beautiful. They are, they are neutrals, if you will. As is written in the description of the, of the palette, it says warm nudes, roses, and browns. So these are, you know, everyday shades. They're not quote that unique in the shades themselves. However, in how they look on the eye and how they perform, these are unusual. I, I think I mentioned it a couple times in the video. It reminds me of Suku. They are really unique shades in the way that they look on the eye and the way that they apply and the way that they're buildable. A lot of times when you build eyeshadows, they get muddy or they get cakey or they start to look like heavy. These do not do that, but they're not sheer either. So I'm not exactly sure how they do it. Uh, yeah, it creates for a beautiful look. Um, so if you're on the fence about the Byredo palette and you just wanted to listen to the intro to figure out whether you should buy it, my, 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 my recommendation is yes buy it. It's really good. However, it's $105. So I don't want to be just like spend $105. Just to put it in perspective though, this is a luxury beauty channel and by Rado is 105. You can get it on sale. And I got mine on sale. Uh, hopefully it will be on sale somewhere uh, before it sells out. It's, it's available at Selfridges and by Rado as well. Uh, I hope it comes to other retailers. And, um, the Tom Ford quads, the Hazy Sensuality Golden Hour, which by the way, the formula is excellent in all of those, um, is $90 for four shades. It has 18. And I will tell you, these are this is more unique than any of those, but they are still pinky nudes, peachy nudes, roses, and browns, which are basically what's in the three Tom Ford quads that just came out. And these are more unique. So just wanna say, Again, I'm not just in the Tom Ford's apps. I love the Hazy Sensuality, like truly love it. But those three $90 a piece are $270 for 12 shades. And this is 105 for 18 shades. And the formula is more unique, more innovative, more interesting. The shades are really stunning. And I think pretty much anyone could 
wear this. So with that, let's head over to the application. Let's do, let's do, there's 18 shades here, guys. So as I've done with other videos, I will, you know, do different looks. Like I did with Eden Rock, I, I did like three or four videos with Eden Rock. I didn't necessarily show you me doing the look or um, talk about it, but in the description box, it said below, you know, that I had used Eden Rock. For the Sephora video, for example, I used the Eden Rock um, palette. So I'll do that with this one as well, because with 18 shades, there's just no way. Um, but as I said in my intro, this palette is actually much nicer in person, first of all. Um, and there are, there are a lot of different shades in here that you could use for palette, um, for a look. And the way I have divided it is to, into two nine pans. So over here you have more of like a, a little bit warmer look and over here a little bit cooler, but it's not exact because of course there's this gold over here that makes this <laughs> obviously a warm tone, this is a warm tone. But if you divide it up that way, or even in, you could do it in fours, if you look throughout her palette, you can do that too. You can like divide it into quads, you can divide it into nine pans, um, and you can even use just like two shades next to each other. So I'm gonna try to use, I'm gonna try to use six shades. <laughs> Let's see how well that goes, but I'm gonna try. Um, and in order to do that many shades, frankly, you need to use some um, soft brushes to sort of start. Um, and the reason I say that is that you don't want a harsh look. Um, you, don't, you want something a little bit more diffused um, to start out. On my face at the moment, the only thing I have on is Travis Liner by Makeup by Mario and a little bit of my new shade of Dior Maximizer, which I will put below because right now I'm not exactly sure what it is. Although I think it's Nude Rose, almost positive. Okay, so <clears throat> there are not names, are there? There's numbers. So there are numbers on the back. So you can say eight through six, seven, you know, 18. Um, so I'll, I'll refer to it that way when I do the shades. Let's start with this very neutral shade. Um, this is number nine here. And I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a Chikahoto Z series brush. This is the blend brush. This is a very soft brush. And this shade, number nine, as you can see, is basically the shade of my skin, except a little warmer. Almond, it's probably almond. So for anyone looking for a, you know, warm, tan, almond shade, this is it. <laughs> this would make a great um, transition or carve out shade um, for somebody who is pale and wants a very natural, very um, subdued transition look. Because you can see it, it doesn't look like much of anything but you can tell there's something. Um, you just, you know, it's not, you'd have to get close to someone to tell uh, what they've done. And that's not a bad idea, by the way, if you have hooded lids, that's something that you could absolutely do um, to sort of bring some of the, the eye, some of the skin back, but you don't want something like too harsh. That would, that would do it. All right, so that's like I said, very, very light shade. I'm gonna continue with that shade and literally very lightly, I mean, I'm going so lightly with this brush. So these are the Z-Series brushes from Chikahoto. They are very, very soft. So you're gonna get a very diffused, very light look with them. But they're super soft on the skin. If you're looking for something that like doesn't irritate the skin at all, this will do it. Then I'm gonna take um, the uh, same series eyeshadow brush. I think this is, I forget the numbers. They don't put the numbers on the brush. Z10 and Z11 or something like that. It's the pointed, eyeshadow brush. Um, and let's take the shade that's a little bit deeper than it, shade three. I'm staying with mattes here for a moment. And um, this one has a little bit more pink to it. It's a little bit deeper. And I'm just uh, carving out two thirds of the eye, to make that a little bit of a deeper crease. Nothing, you know, super intense at this point. 
Although I'll tell you, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to talk about it in the um, intro and in the final thoughts and comparison, but this palette packs pigment. I mean, if you want it to be subtle, you can have it be subtle, but it's, uh, it definitely has, <laughs> definitely has pigment in it. Um, okay. So you can see it's just a very light, almost like carved out look on my eyes. Now I'm going to take, um, a, Hakuhodo, this is an S145 brush. This is a very thin brush, and this brush is not uh, soft. <laughs> uh, I don't mean it's not soft in your skin, but this is not going to give you a diffused look. This is going to give you more pigment. Um, and again, we're going to go in with a shade that is still matte, but it's a very deep brown. And I'm very lightly going on the outer corner here with it. But like I said, this is these are pigmented shades. There is fallout, by the way, with these, uh, which is not a bad thing. It's just, you know, be aware of that. And I literally am just putting this on the outer corner of the eye, almost like a V. Um, and this is gonna go, you know, underneath. I'm gonna put a shade over it, but I'm doing this because it's a, in some ways, a more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A subtle way of intensifying the crease because the shade is gonna be underneath. So it's already gonna be there when I put uh, a shade on top of it. Okay, so there's three shades on here. You can see there's a little bit of fallout under my eye. I'll clean that up later. So we've got the very almondy pale tan shade, then a little bit of pinker over it, then this deep brown on the outer corner. You can see you already have like space here on the eye. Now um, you could use like a, a concealer or something to, to create that kind of cut crease, or you can do what I just did and create it by just leaving the lid blank. Uh, I'm not using any today. Um, primers because when I first do a palette, um, when I'm showing it to all of you, I prefer not to do that. I kind of like to look at it, um, see how it performs without that. So, you know, to me, it's, it's always interesting to see. There's so many really nice shades, uh, in this. And this one is like a peachy, uh, shade. So it's number two. So we're going to use that one on the lid, um, in this area here. And we're just gonna see how, how this looks on the eye. Now this is a uh, lighter shade. Um, it's definitely shimmery, but it's not like as impactful, I guess, as some of the other shimmery shades. Don't get me wrong, they're all pretty impressive, but this is a shade that I think if you are somebody who likes, you know, a little bit of shimmer, but you don't want a lot, and you think, well, maybe this palette isn't for you because it's too much. I want to show you first how you could do a very light look. Now that's four shades. See how pretty that is, but it's just a really simple, light look. Yeah, I actually like that. Like that's something that I would probably go out with like for work or just, you know, every day. So now we're going to intensify it. <laughs> now we're going to now we're gonna play it up a little bit. Um, okay, so let's go back to that Hakuhodo brush. This is, like I said, a more intense, more intense brush. Um, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to use like a cooler brown or warmer. Let's do a little bit cooler. So this shade here, uh, number 17, is a little bit of a cooler brown. I mean, all of these are a little bit warmer, to be honest with you. But and we're gonna like intensify this crease here and the outer corner, make the look more intense. Then we'll take the, um, now this is a very, this shade number 18 is very intense shade. Like it's a super intense shade actually. So let's not, <laughs> let's not use that one in this look because I think it'll overtake the look completely. Um, let's take the lavender shade that I was talking about. This is, let's see, uh, 13 that on the eye a little bit. Just, I'll show you how this just changes the look completely. Cause this is such a really pretty light lavender shade. It's gonna cool it down completely. Not nice, it's really pretty. I'm gonna take that lavender shade and actually just put it up here in the brow area really lightly though. I'm gonna try not to use too much of it cause it's a shimmery shade but I just wanna enhance this out to be like a little bit more 
you know, so you can see all the different shades. So now we've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades. And now I'm gonna take the um, gold shade, which is number 12, the shade here. So I'm trying to use as many shades as I can, kind of layer a little bit, which this lets you do. Just pop it on the inner corner, like just the tiniest bit, because this gold uh, is super bright. Let's take um, the cooler brown, number 17, just run along the lower lash line, connect it up to the edge here. And like I said, I will clean up the under eye because there is fallout, not a ton, but there is some. So I'll clean that up. All right, now we're gonna take that first shade, number one shade. This is like, it reminds me of the shades that are in Metal Lust by Tom Ford. This one is different than the other, there's a couple other silver shades in here. And in the beginning when I talked about the um, formulas, hopefully I talked about that. Yeah, I was afraid I was gonna get a little bit of it. I'll fix that. So this one is almost, it sounds odd, but it's like fairy dust. You have to be very careful with it because it goes everywhere. Um, and so I would recommend putting on your eye makeup if you use the shade first. But can you see that shade, the difference? This is shade number one. It's amazing how like this shade is, it's, it's like glitter, but it's not. I can't explain it. Um, it's like fairy dust. Like it has this, I don't know, it's, it's weird, not weird, really interesting property where it ends up looking like there are little pieces of glitter, um, which maybe is what it is because it sticks to your face, but it sticks to your eye too. And the minute you put it on, it kind of just makes everything like glow. I don't, <laughs> I mean, it takes over the look though. So if you use number, shade number one, you know, that's what you're gonna get. It literally like, that's that's the shade. But it is a beautiful, shimmery, yeah. It's, it's really nice. Um, now the other shade, the number six, which is similar in the pan, it looks like it's similar anyway. Uh, when you put that on the eye, that has a different look. I'm gonna put that in the middle. Like I said, these shades are gonna take over the, sh the look, I'm just telling you that right now, because these are intense. But that one is more like, I guess more like the one in Metal Lost actually, I should say. It has like an opacity to it and a silver liquid kind of thing. So let's say you used a matte and then you put the silver on the eye and then put this number one shade all over it. You kind of look like, it's like fairy dust. That's what it looks like. Yeah, you also have fairy dust all over your face, like forever. Um, I think the only thing to do is to like clean out the under eye and then put on more foundation. So I'm gonna clean up the under eye. I'm actually gonna take this makeup off, uh, put new foundation on, because I think that's really the only way to get rid of the glitter. Um, and then we'll come back and talk about the palette. Mascara is on. I don't have anything else on my face. I am going to put some other products on my face that I'll talk to you about. I'm, I want to make sure they're timestamped so that if you don't want to see those other products, you just want to see the Byredo, you'll just get to see the Byredo. So I cleaned up the under eye. I literally took the makeup off my face um, and then reapplied it. So what I would suggest is if you're using shade number one, do it first uh, and then put your face makeup on. It's just a very glittery, um, you know, it just goes everywhere. Um, it's incredibly beautiful and in my opinion, worth it, but you need to use it first. Uh, so it's the shade here. The shade is the only one that does it. The other shades, the shimmery shades that are in here have a wet, smooth, uh, liquid metal kind of look and they look stunning on. But that first shade has this like loose glitter kind of thing, but it's not, like I said, it does go all over the face, but when you see it on the eye, do you see what I mean? It just, it looks like you sprinkled your eyes with dust. 
Um, it's, an, it's an amazing look and it, it really is very impressive. I don't know what the difference between that one and the other ones are, but there's definitely a difference in how it looks on the eye. I think you can see, I have like, let me look and see how many shades I actually used here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shades. So I used ten shades out of the 18. Um, and you wouldn't know it because they're layered. I layered the shades. But with the first pass, I did a very, uh, you know, simple, subtle look, which you absolutely can get with this palette. This, of course, is, you know, more intense. Uh, the shimmer shades in here are just stunning. I used the number six and the gold and number seven. Number six is this one and the gold number seven in the inner corner. This one here is, as you saw with the, the swatches up front, I'll put the swatches up again. Just an amazing shade. This is like pink um, shimmer. This is the lavender that I put on the eye to cool down the look. I mean, the shimmers in here, really uh, impressive. The mattes are beautiful. They go on smoothly. And uh, I think it's, I mean, I can't, I have nothing bad to say about the formulas in here, except to say that that glitter shade, just be aware, <laughs> put your put your foundation on first. Um, compared to the um, Kalahari palette. So one thing I would say is the Kalahari palette had names on the back. This has numbers, which I think is interesting. And uh, also it's a very different palette. Um, there may be shades in here that are the same. It is possible. I, you know, I'll have to go through and, and really see, but I don't think so. I, I think there are similar shades, but I don't think they're the same. Um, the Kalahari palette is a more diverse palette. Um, it has greens, it has blues, it has deep gray, browns. It's, you know, it's got pinks, it's got a white. This one is much more subtle. And it has more peachy neutrals, pinky peach neutrals, and then these pops of, of silver. And of course, that did not exist in the Kalahari. There's no silver in here. There's the white shade, um, and then there's this really pretty gold shade in the middle, but there isn't these silvery shades that are in here. So it's a very different palette all together. Um, if you're looking, if you have the Kalahari and you really enjoy it, it's one of my favorites of 2022. I've, I've said that many times. Uh, and you want to buy this one because it, you think it's different enough. It absolutely is different enough. There's, there's actually very little similarity between the two. This is a much more, um, like I said, subtle, neutral palette. Um, there are pops in here that absolutely enhance a look. Um, like this is the pink it's like a, a shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna put this on my hand. It's stunning. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the shade that's in the Hazy Sensuality from Tom Ford, but more, way more intense. Um, and here's 18. I'll put this, I'll put a couple shades on the back of my hand just so you can see them. Obviously I've done swatches so you can see them there, but I mean, the shades are really beautiful. The formula is, great. It's absolutely great. I have nothing bad to say about this formula, um, the different formulas in here. The mattes are really good. The shimmers are really good. That number one shade that whatever, <laughs> whatever that is, these are some of the shimmers, uh, satiny shimmers. Um, some are more metallic than others. You know, it, that's a beautiful like fairy dust glitter kind of thing. Um, my only caveat is don't, do not, do not put your foundation on first because it's gonna go everywhere. Um, so yeah, I, it, it's a little bit more subtle, peachy pink with some browns and it pops of silver. The formulas in there are amazing. The mattes are really good. The shimmers are really good. Whether you need 18 shades, you know, I do think this formula is unusual. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Suku in the sense that you put one shade over the rest of the shades and it changes the whole look. Um, and that doesn't happen a lot of the time because most of the time you have, well, most of the time you have smaller, you know, you have like quads or quints, but usually it just enhances a look or, you know, you blend it and it all works together to create something. This one literally by, remember I, in the beginning I had like the peachy shades on and then I put that lavender on and it completely changed the look. Like you have a completely new look. And you put that silver on the top, it, it completely changed. So these are 
these all these shades independently are pretty impressive um I would say, yes, for $105, if you get it on sale, I got mine on sale, uh, 18 shades, that's a pretty good deal, considering that the Tom Ford quads are 90, just saying. The formula is excellent. It really is. It's extremely good. The thing, I guess, to decide is, is this your color story? You know, um, again, I'll put the, uh, the shades up. It is a more neutral peach with pops of silver. I mean, it is. Um, but they are beautiful shades. They really are. It's it's much nicer in person than it is online. Um, it's not as pink as it is online. And the formulas are just like they are in the Kalahari palette, which is outstanding. Um, they are not the same formulas that are in the, the oyster shells. And I, I don't know. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't know why this doesn't just use those. Uh, so really quick, let me finish up my makeup and we'll make a couple of final thoughts. Um, so this is Virtue. This is the um, Rare Beauty Virtue. This is the other shade that was new. I did one with Worth. I am going to put one dot on my face. And I tell you that because I've been telling people, don't use a lot of it. Don't use a lot of it. And everybody who <laughs> like it, I use too much. I'm like, I tried to tell you. One dot, one dot. Use one dot, and then if you want more, then go back in and you can use more. But do not start with like three dots of blush on your face. I'm telling you, <laughs> telling you now, don't do that. Um, this is super, super pigmented. One of the things about this blush, and the reason I tried to get all the radiant colors, I have, I'm missing the red shade. That's a shade that I haven't decided to pick up because I just think red won't look good on me. Although I might get it, <laughs> to be honest with you. I like the formula so much. Um, and the uh, Lucky shade, which has just been sold out basically since it was created. Um, you need one, one drop. Now, you might be somebody who likes more intense blush, and so maybe two, maybe one and a half. But it will take me years to go through this, years. And it's like, I think it's like $28. I mean, how can you beat that? Just, and the formula is stunning. It just looks great on the face. Look healthy, this is beautiful. So, buy the Rare Beauty Blush. I don't, I don't have like, I mean, I have affiliate codes with Sephora and stuff, guys, but I don't have any, Rare Beauty and I don't have any alignment of any kind. She just she made great products. Um, I also have the House Labs highlighters. I've talked in depth about the House Labs um, blushes, and I really like the blushes, and I've said, you know, great things. Um, so I do have two of the highlighters. I did not pick these up at Sephora. Um, I have Peach Quartz, and I have Sunstone. These are available at Sephora, though, and they are on sale. So I wanted to get this up while that was going on. Um, so let's do it here. Now these are gonna be a little hard to see because again, they're highlighters on a very pale skin tone. So, you know, they don't show up that much. Um, and this is Peach Quartz. There are six shades? How many shades are there? So Sunstone and Peach Quartz. Sunstone is like a goldenish shade. Um, and then Peach Quartz is exactly what it sounds like. It's a peachy highlighter. It is beautiful, um, the formula. I actually have to say I'm very impressed with it. Um, so I'm gonna put it on the face so you guys can see. If you're interested in picking them up, like I said, hopefully this video, I'm not exactly sure which day this video is gonna go up, but it, it will be during the Sephora sale. Hopefully they're not sold out. The, the Rare Beauty blushes are selling out. I mean, I just wanna be honest, they, I'm not surprised that they're selling out. So um, they're gonna sell out. Uh, okay, highlighters. Oh, there's like a bronzy one. That looks really pretty. Uh, sorry. Uh, there are one, two, three, four. There are nine. Um, like I said, I have peach quartz and peach, peach quartz and sunstone, which is a pink gold. Um, 
There are some really deep ones in here. The bronzite, a deep cool bronze, and chocolate opal, a warm bronze. They look stunning. I wonder if I could wear those on my skin almost as like, like a glowy bronzer. Okay, now I kind of want those too. That's bad. No, no, don't need that. No. Okay. <laughs> trying not to, try not to buy a ton. Okay. Uh, so let's use, um, I want a softer brush. I don't want something that's going to deposit a ton of, okay. We'll use the uh, KZ and I'll use the um, Sunstone. And like I said, Sunstone is pink gold. It's, it's beautiful. I have to say, I'm, I'm very impressed with the, with the house labs because, well, just one, I'm just impressed, but I remember there was a whole like, um, and I, I didn't really pay quite enough attention, uh, like rebranding, like they were on Amazon or something. And then like, she changed the, she changed it. So I don't know what happened there, but whatever she did, now I'm going a little ham with the highlighter, but I want you to be able to see how beautiful that is. I mean, it's really a very stunning look. Is it gonna show texture? Yeah, a little bit. It's gonna show texture, but like not, not in an offensive way. It's just that it's, you know, it's really pretty. Yeah, I really like that. It's a nice, it's a really nice highlighter. Yeah, I, I would seriously consider picking up other shades. I wish it was that other retailer. There's 10 shades, sorry, there's 10 shades. Um, there's rose quartz, bronzite. The bronzite just looks really pretty. Um, pink amethyst, chocolate opal. Love the names. Anyway, yeah, I'd love to hear um, any of you out there who have it, like in, in the deeper shades, whether that's something you think I could do as like a glowy bronzer, you know, in the summer. I know I don't actually tan, but you can always hope. Um, and then I am going to have a bronzer video. I'm going to have it um, ranked. I, I might have something up on Instagram though before that so you guys can take advantage of the sale. I picked up the MAC bronzers and the NARS bronzers. Now, here's the thing about the NARS bronzers. NARS bronzers did exist before. It's not like, you know, the whole idea of NARS bronzer, but these are new NARS bronzers. And the shade that I have is 00, zero which did not exist before. And it's really beautiful formula. Um, I really, really like this. What I would say to you about the shade though, um, not everyone's gonna love it. The Zero Zero, it's a very neutral bronzer. Um, it looks really nice. In fact, I was wearing it in my, I think, my Hazy Sensuality, or possibly my Golden Hour video. Golden, uh, Hazy Sensuality, I was in Tom Ford. So it's very neutral. It's a very neutral bronze. Um, and you can see it like in the palette. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. Um, so if you're looking for a very cool bronzer, then you won't like the Zero Zero. And in fact, I went and looked in store at Sephora at Zero One and then Zero Two, which is the old Laguna. And Zero One is definitely deeper than this, but I could definitely wear it but it's the same kind of neutrality. It's the same neutral kind of shade. Watch on my um, face. It's very creamy formula though. Like it's, it goes on beautifully. It's super creamy, blends right into the skin. I think it will actually be quite good for um, more mature skin um, because it has this creaminess to it that's really nice. Um, and so it's really easy to use and it creates a beautiful bronze, the zero zero for somebody who is paler like me. Um, uh, but also I think this is something you could wear if you are a couple shades deeper than I am. Um, if you like a light bronze and you like a neutral bronze, but do you see how beautiful that is? It really is gorgeous on the skin, quite creamy, really nice. It looks very impressed with um, with the Zero Zero. I did not buy the Zero One because I have so many bronzers. I felt like I didn't need it because I really like the way that this looks. And so, you know, yes, it's deeper. So if I wanted a deeper one, but why? I mean, I, I'm, I don't want a deeper one. I think this one looks perfect uh, for my skin tone. So uh, I'm gonna have a, a ranking video for the bronzers, but I might, in the meantime, put something on Instagram that basically says number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, type of thing. 
Um, and I can tell you right now that the NARS is very high up there. It's really nice. Um, and NARS has kind of fallen out of our, you know, like it's not the popular thing, but it's a beautiful product and that's what should matter. So I wanted to let you know. Um, I did pick up more maximizers. Again, not at, um, at Sephora. I'll have a, I'll talk about a whole bunch of new things uh, and do a wrap up video, but I think these are intense grape. I guess intense grape or maybe it's just grape, but I think it's intense grape and rose nude. Rose nude is what I have on my lips now. Um, along with the Travis liner. It is uh, a very pretty shade, and the uh, grape is like a, just a beautiful uh, grape on the lips. It's actually very, very pretty. But I also wanted to mention, I have the Sisley um, lipstick, the shiny ones in 13. This is called Beverly Hills. This is only available, as far as I know, at uh, Bergdorf's and Neiman's. I think it's sold out at Bergdorf's and is only available at Neiman's. It's a really pretty shade. I wish it was available in more places. It's a limited edition shade. Um, it's like a peach. Uh, it's gorgeous on the lips. And if you are familiar with the Sisley, this is the, the shiny, I forget what their names are. I'll make sure all the, the right things are down below. Um, but it's sheer Beverly Hills and it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. It is limited edition. Um, so I, I like it so much. I might get two. It's not something I love to do, but, um, my understanding is they're, you know, made what they made and then that's it. Um, so yeah, uh, but I really like it. So Again, I'll have a wrap up video with lots of like all the newness, but um, today mostly focused on the Byredo. And I have to say, guys, you know, $105, I know it's a lot of money, but it is 18 shades. The formulas in here are very unusual. The shimmers, as I showed you on the back of my hand, the swatches, they're, they're really impactful and beautiful. The mattes are stunning. It, it really can create, I, I think I showed you like three different looks with this one look <laughs> uh, because I built on top of one another, which is something you can do with, with the Byredo 18 pan palettes. You can do with, with uh, Suku. You can't do that with every palette really because things start to get muddy um, usually and these do not do that. So I strongly recommend the formula. I think it's stunningly beautiful. Uh, it lasts, it doesn't like, you know, settle into lines. It doesn't do weird things over the day. Uh, it's comfortable on the eyes and it, it doesn't age you at all, even though it's shimmery, which is saying something. And, uh, you know, I wasn't going to pick it up. And that's why I asked all of you and it was 50, 50 for a while. And then I was just like, fine, I'm going to get it. Be not because I didn't think it was stunning or not because I didn't think it was beautiful. It's just because I have so much makeup at this point. If you guys don't want to see something, it's like, do I need to add it to my collection? No. Um, but I am thrilled to have it because I have to say, I really think it's beautiful. Um, it's not easy to travel with because there's 18 shades in here, but I could see this being somebody's just like one and only palette. Seriously. If you're somebody who doesn't, you know, like a lot of blues or greens or, uh, you know, those types of things. And if you're somebody who likes more of a, a peachy pink palette and that's what you wear all the time, I could see you just owning this and being pretty happy. It's a um, really good job by Vario. Uh, yeah. And so NARS, uh, bronzer, check it out, Sephora, or wherever you want to pick it up. Ha uh, House, House Labs highlighter is excellent. The Dior Maximizers, as you know, I love. This Beverly Hills Sicily lipstick is limited edition. You know I'm not somebody who like go out and buy stuff, but it's limited edition. And then the Rare Beauty, buy the blushes, but I'm telling you, use one dot on your face and then build if you need to. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon.